You know Oscorp, but you might not know me. I'm Harry Osborne. And when my father died, he didn't just leave me a business. He left me a New York institution. But too often lately, both Oscorp and this city have been preyed on by criminals. Now today, I'm announcing a joint venture with a man who, like me, recently returned to the city where he was born and wants to help. Wilson Fisk. New York made me the man I am. Now, I want to give something back. It was my privilege to rebuild this great city after recent crises, but that was just the start. Allow me to introduce you to the Enhanced Prime Task Force. Now, the police are doing a fine job with limited resources, but when they face threats outside their normal scope, they need more, and we have a Rather than increase the burden on taxpayers, Mr. Fisk and I are financing this hand-picked task force ourselves. Vigilantes like Spider-Man only make the problem worse. This is our city, and we're taking it back together. Still willing to take Oscorp off your hands, young man. And my answer is still no. Well, that's fine. I'll just wait until you die of the disease that killed your father. Jonah Jameson and I could be friends if we just understood each other. Every second counts. Please! I'm trapped in here! <sighs> just a few more seconds! Help! It's getting hard to breathe! <clears throat> Spider-Man! I can't reach the fire exit! I've never seen anything so heroic! won't be able to breathe for long. A sobbing woman embraced the sun she thought she'd never see again. Reunited, thanks to Spider-Man. The spider! Kill him! Oh, I know what's bothering me. You think because I took down Herman Schultz, it means I like him more. That's just not true. You'll get the same up close and personal attention. I promise. Now to find the one that got away. Hey. Wrapping up bad guys is my thing. What the? I can help you? Okay, Mr. Craven the Hunter. You got my attention. We have shots fired at the bus station. Proceed with caution. Suspects heavily armed. Officers 
are under fire at the bus station. Need assistance immediately. Just have a future in it. Spider-Man! I like. Impressive. But you are still raw. Inexperienced. I was experienced enough to beat your friends. I am Russian. But I am no friend to those pigs. My name is Sergei Kravenov. Men call me... Craven the Hunter. So you left me that note. Huh. Judging from the web, you're one of those crazy reality show guys who runs around naked in the woods eating bugs. How can you help me? I can make you a true hunter. Not just a boy pretending to be a man. Should you wish to accept, you may find me here. Until we meet again. from the Fisk Osborne Press Conference. Oh, sorry, Mr. Jameson, but I've got school. You know, life outside the job. In my day, your job was your life. A press pass is wasted on you. Actually, I just got an idea for using my press pass. It's not like I tell Craven my real name. And I'll be on guard for any kind of double cross. I've never had formal training and... <sighs> okay. Don't be nervous. You need information on Craven, and you've got a press pass to get it with. <laughs> Easy peasy. Never mind that if you... You're a photographer and not a reporter. Who have you stuffed and mounted? Uh, Mr. Cravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We, we spoke on the phone? The, the door was open! Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. 
I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh... I don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors, Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. ...to get results. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it... ...is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes. No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! It's my lucky day. Now that's a keeper. Just the image I wanted.
Just what I needed. Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you killed them? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? I have trained myself to the peak of human ability, and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets, but the secrets of native cultures. Herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Hunting criminals, some people might wonder if you're the Carnage Killer. Ah, he is no hunter, but a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, the hunt means nothing. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. Last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who... Well, he chose a different path. I never had a son, but... Perhaps... Uh, forgive me. I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah. I think I do. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take that. <laughs> 